Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to Disc and Deals coverage. You're watching round one, back nine of the second annual Foxtail Farm Championship. I'm Lucas Deal, joined by the owner of Foxtail Farm, Mr. Cooper Arnold, and this is Foxtail Deal commentary. Coop, you ready for some disc golf? I'm ready to go. Let's see what these guys can do. Yeah, big shout outs to a lot of people here. TD, Michael Kruger, drone operator, Kendra Deal, my wife, catch cam, also Kendra Deal. She wasn't feeling well, so big props to her. Course prep, Matt Jenkins. BKS, Artisan Ales. Tech Disc. Dynamic Disc, Kansas City. Kevin Simpson, Bob Goodwin, Quentin Shaw, Dan Bells, and our title sponsor of the coverage, Under Par Apparel Company. Thank you all for helping us out. Yeah, and thank you guys. Here we go. We got John Jones on the card. He goes by Bones. He's not truly sponsored by Twisted Tea, but he should be. Isaac Hyman, <laughs> Tech Disc, super smooth player, and look at this wink. Ooh. Michael Babbitt can probably throw from Kansas City all the way to Wichita. Throws the disc a mile. Can't wait to see him play this back nine. And our current leader, Landon Carver, shot two down on the front nine, only 16 years old. Let's see if he can continue it on. And two down's a great front nine. The record previous on this course was only five under, so he's on track. So uh, if you guys were watching the last one, you saw the hardest hole on the course, and uh, hole 10 here is the second hardest hole on the course. Got another par five, you gotta negotiate the early gap. And then I think the hardest thing about this is there's a subtle right to left slope. So it makes landing your disc in the middle, uh, especially challenging. This is kind of the second gap you're gonna wanna try to beat here. If you can get in a good first shot, you beat that guy and then advance as far as you can. Um, stay in the middle somewhere and ideally land up here by this big walnut tree in the middle leave your 200 feet to kind of scramble down here it's about 200 feet like you'd see on a lot of wood short courses or something like that so the further you get up there the more the more real gaps you get to play the further back you are the more lucky you might have to be oh we got a, a gallery over there on the right too <laughs> someone actually made that joke that's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's looking pretty good. EL3. Yeah. Okay, he kicked a little bit left side. That left gap right there, if you were squared up on it, you could you could see an eagle on this hole. It's definitely possible. Yeah, that was a sweet shot. Oh, that was early. early. Yep. Yeah. Kicked I do it. think that the forehand shapes really well here. Just got to hit that initial. I think he was going for a layup play too. He was only throwing a gator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is another one kind of like hole 10, 200, 400 feet don't matter. You just got to be in the middle. It's what, what you can throw and stop in the middle is kind of the challenge here. Michael's throwing the standstill. Yeah. A little bit cooked right, but that is going to be workable for him. He might have a roller from there, a forehand from there. He might have a hard Anheuser from there. You do see a lot of guys on this hole throw rollers on their second or even third shot. The slope just kind of sets up for it, and the gaps are bigger than on nine, so there's a little bit more airspace to play with. That's pretty. That's, that's a rock. Yeah, that's tracking real nice. Man, I just got a complicated mid-range bag. It's got rocks, buzzes, and MD3s in there. <laughs> he does. So he at least kicked to the middle here. Oh, and then he and slipped. He slipped. Oh, no. He stayed safe, though. He stayed in bounds, yeah. That property line on the right side, uh, it's down right now for the, the, the uh, fence line's getting reworked for those cattle over there, but the, there is a hot wire over there, so... Hopefully he doesn't get zapped. It's a little further than he, a little further away than he is. Well, stay tuned. <laughs> Forehand roller is not what I was anticipating. 
and probably got fortunate with the tree kick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the the backhand roller sets up because it it turns away from the slope there. The forehand, I think you can you can definitely make work, but you're not trying to bite off near as much. And if if Isaac can hit this gap right, just right there on the right side of the screen, this can go pretty far. Uh, little slip. Yeah. Yeah, if th this is one where if Bones was five feet right, he could he could potentially be looking at trying to get real saucy and, and go up for an eagle over there. As is, I think he might be trying to bite off maybe two, 250 here. On a high, on a hard angle too. Gets Kicked it right in the middle. Yeah, positive tree direction. Oh, Landon's over there in the thick shul. Yeah, he's very thick. Going to have to go forehand roller. And kind of lost it there. He set, set it down oh, on a yeah. cut, it looked like. Yeah, I think it ended up left side. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, this is the hardest hole to record in the history of holes. <laughs> I, I believe that. <laughs> you might need a, an army of camera people, and you might need them set up in deer blinds. Yeah, because honestly, um, I can tell our shots coming, but you just never know where they're coming from. Yep, for sure. There's a, a lot of width on this hole too. For his, for being tight and woodsy, it's fairly wide, so that it's hard to oh. focus on where you need to focus. Oh, Almost yeah. right. And yeah, so he's all the way on the left hand side. For so from the deep shul on the right, all the way to the left here. Mm -hmm. I think we call that army golf, right? Yeah, we do. We do. Left, right, left, right. And another forehand roller, this time with the gator. Hit immediately. Oh. But still got a little roll out of it. Uh-huh. So. so he's throwing five from up there. He can still get a bogey, which for hitting almost first available is not awful. For being only the second hardest on this, it tends to produce bigger numbers than nine. Bones early early knockdown there. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I should have had a, a counter for how many shots these are because I I've lost count. The, this is one <laughs> that nine and ten you gotta be sharp on even when you're playing. Ooh, hunting a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the slope on this, you really have to to watch your pace. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, at this uh, that walnut just right of Isaac right there, that's where it starts dropping down. So not only you're hitting a uh, you know tight little woodsy shot, you know, woodsy gaps in there, but you also got to kind of float it or uh, do the opposite and hit a hard hyzer righty lefty. Isaac trying to jump that thing down. Yeah. There's that gator again. Yep. Just. That's it. Oh, oh yeah, that one went a little far. Mm-hmm. Probably a little bit low on the release. So oh, I looks like Bones is laying up here. Yeah, he's got the <laughs> he's got his floppies. Yeah. He said he has like a uh, a pretty good like throw in rate with those, <laughs> to where if he is laying up, it's still got a potential of going in. Oh, I b I believe it. <laughs> They're hard to throw too much past a basket, I think. They're so floppy, your thumb starts to give on them, and then they just kind of drop where they drop. Let's see if Landon can save a bogey here. Oh. This this hole can get in your head real quick. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good par. Good par. Living on the left side. Mm -hmm. right. Count it. They go. They go in. Isaac, Isaac was almost yeah, he was looking at that center gap, but he not quite on it enough. That's a yeah. good putt. He probably yeah. only twenty maybe 25 feet back there it's not super far but just the angle and being that far stretched out baskets a little bit above him so you got to kind of juice it just a touch mm -hmm. yep. there, there's the dub back to even 
still even even through 10 you're you're doing okay here yep, and we're going into a, a challenging hole 11 yeah this one we started jokingly calling respite because uh, i was <laughs> saying it was easier than the two previous which it is uh, and then my friend peter is telling me he has nightmares about this one because <laughs> 312 but again don't believe that number I, I throw a destroyer on it most guys are throwing drivers um i kind of like to describe this as almost like an island in the sky like it's not a true island hole but there's a postcard sized gap up there and you got to control height and your right left and if you don't make it uh, I mean, you could get a double real quick, double, triple. It's the thickest rough we have out here. And there's not really a safe way to play this hole either. There's not a, there's not much of a layoff option, which is why I kind of feel like it's like an island. A little punchy and low. Yeah. It's up there enough. Yeah, he'll, he'll be able to chip up, maybe have something uh, long try to throw in. This is a good option here. If you have a big enough forehand, I think it opens the gap up quite a bit to be able to get a, get off this tree on over Michael's left shoulder right here. I didn't flip on him. It stayed in the middle though. That's one if it kicks real far right, you could put, you could possibly lose it down there. At the very worst or at the very best, you might be having some fun trying to get up the hill. Is it going with the destroyer? Mm hmm. Oh, that first tree. Yep. Seen that before. That's a tough, that's a tough spot to get to. And for yeah, anybody who, oh, go ahead. I was going to say that it's very dense on the left and right sides of this screen or on this hole. Yeah. If you don't get, yeah, at least a buck 50, maybe 200 down there, it's, yeah isaac might might be best to think about pitching over to the fairway here he's going to try to advance it looks like but 40 feet to your right and get back on the fairway and just try to get a, a bogey so i i think par's out of the question if you hit that tree yeah it looks like he's going what is this a roller uh, yeah yeah it's a roller Honestly, yeah, that was pretty good. That's a <laughs> that that's that's the best you could hope for from there. I wasn't I didn't think he was going to make the initial gap, let alone get half that far. <laughs> yeah, right in front of Michael up here is kind of a common bunker area people end up in. You throw you make the initial gap and you end up over there. It's still a tough little scramble doable, but but annoying. Michael's a little short, so he gets the turnover at it. And oh, and the there. kick. Yeah, that's great. He'll be happy with that one. Yeah, this was the par three. It's a seventh hardest hole on the course. It's, you know, easier than the last two, but it still plays over a third stroke over par. We saw everything from a two to a seven on this hole. Wow. And Landon wanted that one. Yeah, he did. Good putt from Bones. Even from where Bones is, this is a this is an uphill putt. It doesn't quite look as much. Uh, looks less on camera than what it actually is, but it's you get a little stabby on your putts a lot of times because you got to juice it just a little bit more than you'd really like to. This is another yeah. basket hardly seen people go past you could throw as fast as you want and you hardly see anybody more than maybe 15 20 feet past it and john now taking the lead there you go that's the he's starting to catch fire wants to defend his title it's a whole 12 here short short par four and one of the one of the tough ones this is a real demanding shot. A lot of people are throwing like a pig or a gator or something up this right side on a tight backhand shot. Not full power. You want to land by this little morel. If you're right there by that carved morel, 200 feet straight at it, easiest hole on the course. Getting there ain't so easy though. There's also a straight shot. We might see Bones take that. Uh, I was playing a couple practice rounds with him before the tournament and he was kind of preferring that, but not sure what he's going to do in the tournament. 
it's kind of a newer gap. I just cleared it somewhat recently. And he's going the traditional right side. Little straight, but he faded back enough. Yeah, that's a, a good kick. Yeah, that's the challenge on this one. You got to hit the pace as right as you got to hit the left right on it. As Billy Crump would say, you, you got to hit the torturance and the furtherance. <laughs> and we're going with an anvil here at a Babbitt. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I think a lot of players kind of do this with the real overstable. He's going to hit a soft baby flex. Just maybe a little too much angle, a little too much speed on it, but still, it's not bad. He can get a birdie from there. Yeah, I think maybe the speed was a little off there. He, mm -hmm. he just throws so dang hard. Yep. And there's a, here's a gator out of Landon. Yep. And he's kind of straight on it. That's what I think. He Landon threw a little bit soft. Michael threw a little bit hard. Like, I think that's what makes this one so tough is the controlling your speed here is hard. If this was a full power shot, these guys would be puring this gap. I mean, it's not easy still, but they'd be hitting at a lot higher rate than what they're hitting it at. It's just such a touchy shot. Oh, yeah. Buzz. A little more straight than the other guys for stability. Ends up kick pretty good. And I, I kind of like doing that. I like throwing a straighter mid on it. That way you don't have to hit too hard on it. You just throw flat and smooth and let the speed knock the disc off at the end. Just let it fall over. This is a this is this middle bunker right between the right gap and the left gap. He's kind of looking at that that left gap right here. That is interesting. That's a good shot. That's yeah. <laughs> I like I like that uh, attempt there, and you know he's going to be able to scramble, get a par, relatively straightforward up and down form. I think. Yeah, I think that was. If that didn't hit the tree, that was going to be pretty. Gnarly. Oh, mm -hmm. speaking of gnarly. Kicks over there. He should be able to scramble from there. It's thick, but uh, it's such a short hole. As long as you're advancing uh, a decent chunk on each shot, you can still get your par here. Yeah, that's just a little too straight on him, and he ends up in this weird angle. If he'd just yeah. been a little softer on that drive, he's straight on that gap. Throw that same anvil. Mm -hmm. That is going to work out pretty good. Yeah, he's going to have yeah. a definite look. Absolutely. This is what you're talking about. Just if you get to this gap, it's just a straight shot. Yep. It's, uh, I mean, he's within 200 feet, probably buck 80, buck 90 right here, and just, just straight. Just all he got to do is throw straight. He even left that a little bit soft right there. He's still going to be fine. Yep. The sky God. It. There you go. Yeah, this this hole is all about the drive. You may if you peer that drive and end up in a good spot, then you're you're going to get a, a birdie. And if you don't, you could you could take a real big number. Is that that gator again? Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit awkward on that tree. Yeah, Isaac's not too far in there. Not comfortable, but yeah, gonna be gonna really have to scramble here, though. Let's in see. forehand. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's. It, you'd like to get closer than that. This is one. Uh, I'd I'd put money on Isaac on this one. Haven't seen him cash a, a super long putt yet, and this maybe just outside the circle here. Yeah, he's a warden guy. Uh huh. Oh, oh he almost got it. Yeah. That he was, was accounting close. accounting for the uphill and mm -hmm. had great pace, just a little high. Speaking of a little oh, high, a little high, a little high, a little high. Yeah, this is another one, just uh, it's another kind of subtly uphill. You almost get a little stabby on it, put too much juice. There, there you it go. is. Good putt, Landon. Oh, 
right. And, and Bones, then... Bones topping in a birdie up here. Yep. Bones for birdie opportunity. Shout out Brandon McCann. Got some good photos. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen some of them so far. I'm, I think he's going to do some more editing and send some more. I'm excited to see him. Got some beautiful shots. Oh, that's a funny putt. <laughs> I'm not sure he had to go all the way up there. Yeah. Especially since he gashed his leg open earlier. Maybe <laughs> just set your hand on the lie and just tap it in. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Okay, hole 13. This is uh, this one averages just about three. One of the, the easier holes on the course as far as this gap is relatively large, straight, slightly right shaping, but then you come up to this bucket up here hiding in the tree. The challenge on it, you want to be a little bit short or a little bit short and left. If you're pin high right, if you're long, uh, long left's a little bit more okay, but uh, pin high right or long can be just jail. You could, uh, you could miss a bullseye pretty quick. This one, if you if you hit the gap right, you should give yourself a pretty good birdie shot. Bones ends up in that. That's going to be a tough putt. That's that, that, that's the worst side to be on of the tree, right? Um, it that one's makeable. The just behind and right of the basket is probably worse than that, but right. um, it's for for a drive. That's probably the worst spot your drive's going to land. Usually, you're only in the other spot if you're if you throw a bad approach. They're about the same right spot there. Yeah. Yeah. Michael actually aced this one uh, earlier this year through oh. a, through a CD two, and I think he said it plinkoed off the tree about five times and then went in. That's crazy. Looks like a rock out of land in. Just a little soft. Yep. Super close. Yeah. When I when I say this gap is big too, I don't mean big as far as gaps go. I mean big as far as the course gaps generally are. This is you you come up to this one and it feels like you really want to hit it compared to some of the stuff you've been having to throw through. Oh, I like that pace. Good angle, a little bit of slide. Just a little overturned by the looks. Yep. That was a rock. Mm-hmm. This is a tricky shot here. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to scramble on this hole. This is one that you you want a birdie if you can get it. You'll take a par, but you don't want to scramble. Let's see where that gets up to. It's makeable. It's going to be interesting. That's I think he's got a pretty decent gap. I just got a little further than I thought he might have. So even from here, he's he's taking this leaner. He could take. Yeah, thinking better, he's going to throw kind of pitchy over the top hyzer putt which I think is probably the higher percentage shot. Got to be careful, though. If he doesn't hit anything or gets through behind, this is where you start getting big numbers. Uh -oh. oh, no. Chains right, drops out. Hopefully, you make that comeback. And that that's where he'll probably... Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. The Bones has some work right here. It it's makeable. That's a You can fit a disc through there. Oh. Barely, that gum. That's a good putt. Just uh, it like fits his putting style perfectly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, if you ever, uh, if you guys ever come out and play foxtail, spend some time playing horse on this basket. It's fun. <laughs> you, you spend a couple hours and never make the ne never make the same putt twice. You got to do bank shots and all sorts of fun stuff. Hey, there you, you go. Two through there. That's something you don't see very much. Oh, we don't know what Isaac's looks like over here. This could be real tough. Oh, he got it. Okay. He made it look routine. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah. go over it. I thought it was going to be easy. There, so we... there's there's a very big gap right there, but then if you're off by just a touch one direction or another, there could be no gap. Oh, <laughs> so that one hit the front of the cage and then rolled in yeah, yeah 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 okay hole 14 this is the precipice just a little 200 foot shot nothing to worry about definitely don't look behind the basket <laughs> it's oh this is one that's uh just out here on this rock cliff you gotta throw down this hallway and uh 
you know, you get up here to this spot and you start thinking, do I want to make this or do I just want to go on to the next hole? Uh, a lot of times you should just lay up if you haven't committed to it. Yeah, this hole is frightening. Yeah, especially if it gets windy. It's calm today, but if uh, you get a big south wind in the summer and you just you're looking straight at it and you got a headwind, it can be terrifying. Bones of the condor. He calls it the John door. John door. <laughs> no, he, did he stay up there or that drop down to the side? That's down. Yeah. You know, a, a little pro tip on this one, being down on the first shot's not terrible. <laughs> you don't want to be underneath it on the second shot. Uh. Yeah, really. Yeah, he just went with the putter, little link. This is going to be a Luna. Luna, okay. You see a lot of putters on this one. Um, some guys will throw mids on it, or you'll have bones throwing whatever strange thing uh, he's pulled out of a river. That one went left but stayed up. Okay. That, and They're all doable and they're all scrambleable, but they get real, real frustrating. I like the forehand there. Just got to stand it up straight. Oh, and that one also stayed up, luckily. Okay. But no one's in a great spot here. This is no. uh, probably the best spot. And he's going to go with, it looks like, a koi. Yeah, one of those floppy guys. Just, yep. try to stay, just try to stay put. No rolling, no fluffing by it. Well, was Got he running it? Though. I he might have been giving a soft go, yeah. That was was that Bones? Uh, no, that was Isaac. Oh, okay. Oh, I see Bones over there now. Yeah, so Bones is down there. Here comes Isaac out of it. Kendra had already walked to the next hole, so that I was mm -hmm. uh solo because she had a long walk down uh, yeah you don't want to rush that one either that's how you turn an ankle i think on the next one trying to run down it and yeah so lands in the tricky spot and oh he's down the down hill there. as well yeah doing in babbitt and bones you should see his disc in a second Where's he at? There it is. And that one trickles wow. and rolls as well. How far down that one get? It looked pretty good. It actually is going to be close to where Babbitt is too. Okay. You can definitely still make putts from down there. It's just you don't you don't really want to for a par especially. That's the smart play layup yeah. right just there. Yep. Survive and move on. For 200 feet, this is one that you, you're not an upset with a par on it. See, it was the one of the easiest holes, but it still averaged over par. 0.2 over par almost. Yeah, and it, boy, it really just doesn't even do justice to how downhill, or how, yeah. how far uphill he's throwing this. Like, he got it chain high, but barely, and he probably felt like he was throwing it three baskets high there. <laughs> yeah, you'll get to see a little uh, of it next round. Um, uh -huh. Catch cam goes down there. Just a spoiler, someone ends up down there next round. <laughs> <laughs> there you Ooh. go. That's a, that's a good save. Man, Bones has got a nice little round, four under par through 14. Yeah. And he was one. only one down through the front. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he started two over through the first two. So he's really rebounded. Yeah. Just to kind of put this in perspective, uh, we had a flexor the day before the championship started. I shot three down and that was 10 24. So bones is, uh, you know, four down, he keeps cooking. He could have a, a serious round here. Uh, hole 15. This one is I, a lot of people's favorite hole on the course. Downhill 430. You're throwing a putter mid-range. Uh, usually not, not much more. You're going to go uh, out in the OB tall grass behind the basket. Hardest thing. I mean, you got to hit the kind of tight gap on it, but the hardest thing is putting the brakes on. Um, it's it's just the basket's on a, on a slope all the way down. And 
this is a fun one to throw and hopefully find all your discs at the end. <laughs> he goes pilot. Yeah, that's probably a good choice. And just watch it float. It's going to end up on the left side. It's got to sit. Stay safe, Ooh. though. It's really wide over there. I try to try to keep the out of bounds as wide as I possibly can on this one because I want people to have some fun with it. You see a lot of guys throwing right hand, backhand up way over there, though. Forehand can shape for this really well. He's flirting with the trees on the uh, left side. He's on the top. You can you can do that. That's it's a touchy little approach though. Still putting the brakes on from halfway down can be a challenge. What's Isaac throwing there? He's uh, just going warden. Warden, okay. I like it. Ooh. And that's a foot and a half off of perfect. I mean, maybe if even that, if he was just a little bit higher, that would have nestled up right next to the bucket. Mm, right side. Yep. Got a good kick, though. He looks like he's mm -hmm. pretty much in the middle. Yep. Yeah, boy, you can see how far downhill that basket still is. He probably... 250 300 maybe oh yeah it not it, you're not gonna have to throw near that far but that's part of what makes it tough is you almost just have to touch it out of your hand and just let it drop okay he can make that putt yeah for sure a little more meat on the bone than you'd like but you can make it yeah i think the the good overstable hyzer play is a, is a good shot here Something that kind of wants to get to the earth. So, okay. That yeah, was good. that's a good shot. Uh, this is a scary one to run. Oh, terrifying. <laughs> I lay it up. I think at five over, Isaac's probably wanting to go for stuff, though. No, that's, that's fair. That's a... I think that had the appearance of a layup, but I'm, I don't think it was. I think he's... <laughs> He's trying to give that the soft bid that stays close, but you don't have to hit it very hard to make it, you know, 70 feet or whatever he was. That's a good, good try. Also good result stays there. Moving on, protecting a pretty good round right now. Oh, Landon's a little further than I thought. Yeah. Just edge of circle. Oh. Almost gets it. A little on the low side, but I liked his commitment to it. He struck For it sure. with he struck it with pace. Oh, Michael! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he wants to throw that one again. All right, and Isaac to save his par. Yeah, even for his as short of a putt as this is, I think you you've been in the woods for nine ten holes now and then you come into this wide open basket it gets a little challenging there's no there there's no frame of reference around like all the other holes this one's just wide up wide up and wide open and uh gets to be interesting and you're probably feeling the wind for the first time in a while too absolutely yeah that's one uh i, I forgot to mention when you're up on the tee you really want to try to remember which way the wind was blowing because you probably haven't felt it for a while so if you don't know which way the wind's going you could have some fun with it get down there and have your disc blow way away yeah a couple couple pars couple bogeys that's you're honestly going to see that that kind of scoring pretty frequently on it uh 15th fifth hardest hole on the course so really? 16 here yeah um yeah that surprised me too this hole uh you know wide open downhill 480 i think it's downhill uh 50 feet or so um ob left kind of bubbles out here and then ob long just on the property line uh, you'll see a lot of big forehands, big backhands. Some guys will throw straight with a mid-range or a T-bird type disc, seven-speed type disc. Uh, a lot of the guys on this card, I think, are going to be throwing the big uh, backhand hyzer over those trees. Those trees aren't out of bounds or anything, but they're garbage. You don't want to be in them. You're probably taking a <laughs> bogey or worse. That's a halo boss. Hey. That's great. Good effort. So they should have a wind just off of their left shoulder here. It's not a lot, but it's enough to where they want to throw their hyzers. They want to throw more at the basket because it's going to slam them when it hits the top of the top of the disc. 
So Isaac's a little bit wide, but not terrible. I think he's going to be coming in real nice. Yeah, a little, a little on the shy side, but that'll work. Destroyers out of both those guys. Uh-huh. What's Michael throwing here? Same. Destroyer. Okay. Probably just throwing it to the moon. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's huge. <laughs> Look at the height compared that's to everyone else. Huge. <laughs> Yeah, and that's a, that's a good result. You kind of play that fat side of the green. You don't risk the trees. Give yourself a chance at a big putt. And I thought we might see a forehand out of Landon here. No, instead he's going to go oh. T-bird. Switch me up there. Yeah. He shot it over and then... Fading back. Oh, nice. Look at that shot. That's beautiful. As fun as it is to watch the big hyzers, if you sit, get somebody throwing that straight shot like that, it's really fun to watch. Not much prettier than just kind of floating straight. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Some days the putter just ain't working for you. Oh, yeah. All right, Isaac for the bird. Oh, I thought he was going to get that one. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to jinx him again. Yeah, it was the third one he's tickled. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, bad roll. That's an awful roll. Hits, pops, and just goes quick. That's where you don't like those flat top banded baskets that do that. No. Yeah, I yeah. think that was further away than the original putt. Uh-huh. Something about a, a wide open flat green is almost scarier than one with a big slope on it or a bunch of trees or rocks or something. It just feels like it rolls more for some reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to convert for the par. This is unfortunately going to be a bogey for Landon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was just one putt got a little bit away and just gave him too much too much meat left on the bone. This is, uh, let's see if you get this birdie here. Get down to five. There you go. He's got a round cooking now. Yeah, he does. Currently tied for the course record, yeah? Uh, yeah, the old course record. I think in this 16-17 change, so I think the, the tournament current was like three or four, so he's already at it. Okay. Yeah, the old, we changed 16, 17, made it a little bit uh, different. So this is a par five. This is easier than the other two par fives. This is a big old boomer of a shot. You can either throw a right side gap that we saw or just throw as far up the hill as you can. OB on the trees on the right side over there, which comes into play a lot more than you'd think because the, the fairway slopes left to right and kind of drags your disc over there. And then you got to get a disc that'll either come under here and scoot to these trees or... I like throwing over over that big hedge tree in the middle there and kind of spiking it and see what seeing what happens on it. Um, this is one that's eagleable. Uh, if you if you got 450 500 feet of power up in the air, uh, you could definitely get this one. You don't have that much juice, or you don't want to throw as high. You might be throwing this left side bones is throwing here, and this is this is a play for birdie still. You're giving up a lot of distance going that way, but you're still able to negotiate the rest. Isaac's a big throw and it still looks like he's throwing that way. Yep. He's going left side as well. That was a, a boss out of bones and a destroyer here out of Isaac. Oh, I like that turn on it. That should yeah, get way up that. the hill. If you're going that left side, the thing you got to really make sure to do is get as far up there as you can. Cause the hill gets flatter. So your second shot, your run up's going to be a lot more comfortable. I had to reposition because Babbitt said, hey, I'm going over the top. Yeah, this is this is one when I redesigned this hole, I was thinking of guys like Michael Babbitt where it's, hey, what can you do that I can't do? And I put that gap there thinking he might have to throw through it, but turns out he throws over it. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> and that that's just bigger than I can imagine. That's a huge shot. I mean, he probably only threw it 370, but it's so far uphill. Well, Landon said thank you for the gap, though. Yeah, yeah. Landon's got big power. He's got like Look the normal that. person power right now. That's and that's perfect. Yeah. See, he made the gap and he's gained 80 to 100 feet on where Isaac and Bones are. 
So like he could still get an eagle from up through that gap. These guys are playing the hyzers up here. Oh, and that's a big shot. That's a little. There's a little bit of a pinch up there. The further you try to get on this second shot and make that that birdie real possible, um, that's when you see a lot of guys going into the OB on the right side because they overturn it. That got a lot of juice on it. Yeah. Kept a really good angle. It's going to slide in there. He's almost at the corner. He'll probably have stand still. Buck 50 might be a little bit blind or a little bit weird on it. Yeah, yeah the only see... thing about Landon's here is that he is on the hillside a little bit. Yep. Yeah, he's on that intense uh, slope. So it's definitely making it a lot more challenging. And that is almost to the top side. I can't believe how far he just threw it. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing with him a practice round. And I thought I'd, I mean, I think that's 50 feet further than where he got it. And I couldn't believe where he got it then. So he's going large here. Uh huh. And large enough that Kendra didn't see it until the very, very end. Um, so he he did get knocked down by that tree. Okay. Yeah, that, that big tree that you can see on the right side with the branches that are pretty prominent is kind of the, the spot you got to start breaking to the left. You need to be inside of that sliding to the left, whether it's forehand, backhand, whatever. Or you can throw over it. If he was more squared up on it, I think he could have thrown big and over. Oh, that one he just sawed off. Mm -hmm. He wanted to skip, but got too much hyzer on it. I think the challenge on this is a little bit height. There's a little bit of a crown in the middle of the fairway, and that's a perfect shot for Bones right there. Mm -hmm. Just kind of hitting the right speed with that crown in the way can get interesting. That's a good shot for Isaac. Yeah, these boys playing the hole pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. See, if Babbitt doesn't get knocked down, I think he's got eagle. He's got eagle vision there. Absolutely, he does. Yeah, and this one is designed to be on the softer side of fives too. Coming down the stretch, I want to I want there to be a hole where you can where these guys could be looking at trying to get an eagle if they needed it. Isaac was trying to remove that and he's like, Oh, it's connected to the ground. <laughs> he found a root. <laughs> yeah, and looks like he's got slightly annoying position here. Should just be a leaner out the right side. Yep, yeah. No issue. Perfect. It's like maybe three birdies in a par or so. Let's see. Oh, that's a little tougher than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's a tricky one. Hey, oh, he, he, ma he makes good though. It's close enough. It's awkward, but it's, it's close enough. You want to make it for sure. Just that little bit of awkward. You don't want to have to deal with. That's ah, a yeah, big that's straddle good. from Babbitt. Uh-huh. And then a couple, a couple little drop ins right there. That's great play right there from the feature. All right. And we're looking at the final hole now, hole 18. Uh, throwing from out of bounds again, you've got to clear into this short grass up here past this uh, garden I let sit fallow this year. Land in there, and then usually most guys are throwing a big hyzer out over this dirt pile and this out of bounds area on the right. Got to be wary of this out of bounds on the left too. Make sure you're not throwing, uh, not sawing something off in there. But really, you'll see a lot of mid ranges, fairways, even putters. If you got a big enough forehand, it's the right play, though, off the tee. And then you want to oh, control your pace coming into here. You got this basket cantilevered out over the edge and kind of leaves you questioning what you should do if you're even 20 feet away. Oh, yeah. It's a frightening green. We're going to have a T-Bird 3 here, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's a good good choice there and, oh he overcooked it he thought he was ob but look at that he hits the steak he the hits post. the steak that's perfect well that you know He's... if you're gonna try to try to set a real scorching record here you better get a little bit lucky too <laughs> six under is great and see if he has a chance at seven now rock out of isaac mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like the mid-range player putter play if you're throwing backhand. And then uh, if you got a good enough forehand, it's definitely a forehand. Yep, it's a little higher forehand, but 
Yeah. Looks just fine. Oh yeah. Especially for his for his power, I think he's gonna be more than happy with it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, punchy. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, Isaac's probably 390, 400 right here. Still might be throwing Destroyer or something, just hang it high and wide. Yep, he is. Good call. So when a lot of guys will diss down because it's not a, a huge amount of distance, but I think you can just throw higher, wider, and Look make it that, easier. Though. So that's great. Almost to the mulch. Here's Babbitt with the Draco. Oh. That's, a, yeah. that's a long shot for that stable of a disc. He gets into, <laughs> gets into yeah. the shul on the backside. And so he is fortunate to hit this, but he is in a tough position with this bowl. Oh. Holy cow. Boss out of him coming I can't in. believe he just did that. <laughs> 600 par and taking that kind of risk just uh, that that shows you a little bit about bones right there. He just doesn't know much but pedal the metal. No doubt. That's a that's a fine shot for Landon. That's probably a layup for layup. Go to play the next day. That's a tough spot for Michael down there. Yeah, he's way down there. He may not even have a good arm swing. Pretty healthy oh, he pop. Hit. Hopefully it stayed. Yeah, no. Can have another 27 uphill. Yeah. As you'd kind of expect there for Landon. Lay it up, move yeah. on, play tomorrow. Yeah. Smart smart decision from a 16-year-old. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't always see that. Mm-hmm. Oh, stay, stay, stay. Okay, it stayed. Yeah, neither Isaac or Lane are going to be happy at uh, three, four, or whatever they end up at. But you know, the it's a tough course, and they haven't shot themselves out of it by any stretch. Yeah, and that's a good putt, man. Seven under par. Seven under. That's the, something special. The new course record, um, pretty amazing. Yeah, that's awesome that's shooting. something. I was telling people I thought we'd see a seven or an eight under this weekend, and they're th saying I was crazy, but it's the perfect scoring conditions today. Yeah, the the zero wind, and uh, man, and you made the course look so good. There's, you know, lines they could take, and landing going to end with the the par there. And let's take a look at these scores. So yeah, not... even though Bones shot the seven under, Cody Zirkel sets the course record eight under. Absolutely flaming hot round. We're gonna That's see just... Jose and you on the feature or on the lead card tomorrow. Can't yep. wait. I'm excited. Uh, so yeah, because you're you're coming in. You do so much for this course. Do you ever get to play? Almost never. <laughs> now when, when I have tournaments uh, or host a league or something. I the last couple of weeks before this tournament, I was practicing, so I'd, I'd made a point of getting some rounds in, but. Usually it's mowing or weed eating or cutting trees or, or something else. But I I throw shots. I just don't play rounds. That's fair. That's fair. Well, yeah. excited to hear it. Make sure you all come on back for round two, front nine, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Take care. Bye-bye now.